And there is no one, I've seen a lot of people watch football games because one of my sons play, but uh, I've never seen anyone who had it timed the way he does. He can be talking with someone and then he says, excuse me please. He turns exactly timed perfectly. He watches the play. He goes, yay! <laughs> and then he turns in a calm, rational voice and continues the conversation. <laughs> So this guy can really focus. And of course, the best thing about him is he has a wonderful wife, Mimi, who's here, and three children who I am delighted to meet. And so I'd like to ask you all to join me in welcoming President Shapiro. Thank you. Oh, I love the honey, honeymoon I'm through right now. May it last for at least the rest of the week, especially with my induction taking place on Friday. Uh, anyone plan on going over to the ceremony? It's 3 o'clock in front of Gary Library. I'd love to see you there. Uh, I'm kind of excited. Uh, I'm going to speak a little bit, but the main speaker is actually Tom Friedman, who I think many of you know, uh, know of his great work. Um, so I'm excited about that. I was lucky to bring Tom, because I was thinking the students wouldn't come out to see me, you know, but Tom Friedman, maybe they'd come out to, so we're going to test that hypothesis of mine. But uh, we're looking forward to it. It's really going to be, uh, I think, a, a, a great day, and a great day for Northwestern, and I hope a great day for the fabulous town of, of Evanston. Um, it has just been a joy being here, uh, Mimi and I, with uh, our dogs and kids. We moved with a whole uh, group. Uh, we moved here in uh, July, about July 1st, and um, we just love it. And a couple of you kindly asked, have you getting to know your way around Evanston? And the answer is, yes, I do. And, and I don't think I'd ever, I haven't been here. It's great that you shined a spotlight on this wonderful space. I heard a little bit about the history of this place. Um, so it's great to hold this here. That was another one of your inspired uh, decisions, Ms. Uh, Ms. Mayor. It's great. Um, so I'm still learning my way around here, but I can tell you, it is such a welcoming community here in, in Evanston. I'm looking around, I recognize my bankers, different people. <laughs> it's, just, it's just people, it's so nice. I've never lived in the Midwest before. I'm from New Jersey. Uh, great place to be from. Uh, rather than live, to tell you the truth. But anyway, I'm from New Jersey. Uh, my wife is a Valley girl. You know, you know Valley girls, there, there is one. Uh, so she's from LA, and we never lived in the Midwest. And when I had this great opportunity thrust upon me to become the 16th president of Northwestern, we, we started thinking, you know, how would, what's it like in the Midwest? The people are so friendly. I mean, how are we going to deal with that? You know, I'm from the New York, LA. What's, what's this friendly thing? But it turned out we're starting to get used to it. Uh, you know, you are friendly, and uh, and from the minute we arrived here, people have just reached out to us in a wonderful way. And it's just it's fantastic. It's, you know, our youngest is nine, and we want her to grow into a friendlier kid than her other two. <laughs> we're 22 and 21, we're right on the coast. So anyway, uh, so we're looking forward for Rachel to be, uh, you know, it's not a Midwestern great Midwestern values. Um, not only have we been welcomed in a magnificent way into this fabulous community, um, it's just, you know, just living here is, is fantastic. And it's great, of course, for Northwestern University. It is a real privilege to be located here in Evanston. Uh, it was very nice that a number of you said, oh, you know, I go to the sporting events, and somebody says, oh, I just went to the show, the musical last week, and I just went to this or that, and it's fabulous. I think one of the great things about living in a, in a town where there's a great university is you can avail yourself of all kinds of things that you wouldn't normally be able to have around you, and I hope people do that. Uh, you know, when I go to the football games, I, it's nice to see you know, Evanston residents there, it would be nice to see even more. It would also be nice to see even more of our students, to tell you the truth. Um, and I was at SC, I was at University of Southern California with Wally over there, uh, your new town manager, uh, for 11 years. And, you know, we, we, we did a much better job filling the Coliseum than uh, the cats do, Bill and Ryan Field. But we're going to work on that. We'll work on that. But again, uh, you know, one of the secrets to be a great university is to be located in a great town. And we are located in the greatest town. I absolutely love this place. And on behalf of all my colleagues, I see Gene and 
I see another team, and I see Run, and I, I think uh, I see Big Al. How do you miss Al? I saw Dan before. You know, a number of you know, we, we just pledge to do whatever we can to to do our share, the right thing for us to do for Northwestern. And I think it's important for us to support the town, just as it's important for the town to support us. I think that. Um, obviously, Lorraine worked very hard on that, and you're a legend, as I said. And, um, you know, I and, and, who I was talking to. Yeah, but you, you, you didn't think I was a friend. You probably thought the president would be taller, right? You know, so, I, often, I think that every day when I wake up and I look in the mirror and I say, hey, that president should be taller. Um, but just as Lorraine and Henry and, and, and Lorraine and Arnie worked hard to to have the best relationship we possibly can. Um, Liz and I are going to work hard for that same worthy goal. Uh, somebody said before, you know, we talk about the ups and downs, and sometimes in any relationship it can get a little frayed. Um, and I think there's been a little bit of a cycle in the history of, uh, of the, the feelings, the local feelings about the value of having Northwestern University in your midst. And, you know, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. I think it's probably a lot better than it was, say, a decade ago. But my prediction is it's going to be a lot better still in, in the next couple of years. So again, thank you for the hospitality. Thank you very much.